an equation. A theoretical understanding of superconductivity has been developed in several ways after the uh, discovery of uh, superconductivity by Kamerling Ons in 1911. In uh, thermodynamics theories have been used to explain several phenomena associated with the superconductivity. In 1934, uh, Gorter and Casimir used thermodynamic theories to explain uh, superconducting property, uh, the properties of superconducting properties of materials. They uh, they proposed the two fluid model. In 1935, F. London and H. London proposed a semi empirical equation for explaining the electrodynamic properties of superconductors which could ex explain the Meissner effect very well. Then in 1957, quantum mechanical theory was developed by Bardeen, Cooper and Schiffer that is known as BCS theory which could explain the uh, properties of low temperature superconductors. And in two fluid model proposed by Gorter and Casimir, they assumed that the electrons in a superconductor, there are two types of electrons in superconductor. Uh, they are normal electrons and uh, super electrons. So the total electrons in a superconductor, according to two fluid model by Gorton and Casimir, we can assume the total electrons as super electrons plus normal electrons. Ns represents number density of super electrons and the Nn represents the number density of normal electrons and the normal electrons are behaving like ordinary electrons uh, which is moving through a viscous fluid it, it will undergo scattering and which is having some resistance uh, in the case of super electrons they are uh, having separate they are having distinctly separate properties compared to normal electrons they will not undergo any scattering and uh, their resistance is Zero. The, due to these novel properties of the superconductor, super electrons, the superconductivity, the the distinctive properties of superconductivity exhibits that is uh, proposed by Casimir and uh, Gorter. They proposed an equation for representing the number density of super electrons as N S is equal to N into one minus T by T C the whole raised to 4, they proposed this equation to explain the experimentally observed facts. According to this equation, when T equal to 0, at absolute 0 temperature, this term is 0, so Ns is equal to N. At absolute 0 temperature, all the electrons are super electrons. They are, free, uh, they are, they are frozen to form super electrons. And when T equal to Tc, when temperature becomes transition temperature, when T equal to Tc, this term is 1, so it will be Ns is equal to 0. So all the electrons transform into normal electrons at a transition temperature, so superconductivity vanishes above the transition temperature, the material will behave like a normal material, and below the transition temperature, it will be a superconductor. Now, uh, when we draw the graph representing the variation of number density of electrons against temperature T is taken along X axis and number density of electrons is taken along Y axis as temperature increases the number at absolute zero temperature the number density of uh, super electrons is equal to total number of total number density of electrons so it is maximum and when temperature increases this number decreases and at T equal to Tc. When T equal to Tc, all the electrons will become a normal electrons. So this represents, this graph represents the variation of Ns, uh, number density of super electrons with a temperature. Now, when we draw the variation of normal electrons with the temperature, it will be like this. This represents this represents number density of normal electrons. This curve represents number density of superconductor super electrons, and this represents the total number of electrons. So at a zero Kelvin, the number density of no, uh, normal electrons zero. All the electrons are super electrons, and at transition temperature T equal to Tc, all the electrons are normal electrons, and the number density of super electrons is zero. If we take a temperature below Tc, 
then there will be normal uh, if i take a temperature at this point which is below t c then we will be having this much of normal electrons and uh, this much of super electrons so it will be the material will be having both super electrons and uh, normal electrons the normal electrons are undergoing scattering and which will uh, lead to resistance so when in the conductor the conductor is having conductor is kept at a temperature superconductor is kept at a temperature less than dc so it will be in superconducting state at this state it will be having both normal electrons and super electrons so it is having normal electron normal electron when an electric field is applied the normal electrons which will offer a resistance that are be the resistance offered by normal electrons and the super electrons its resistance is zero this is the conductivity conducting path of normal electrons which is offering a resistance r and this is the conducting path of super electrons which is offering zero resistance and they assume that they are conducting parallelly if these two resistors are connected in parallel if two conducting wires are connected in parallel one is having zero resistance and another is having r resistance then the equivalent resistance will be zero so even though the normal electrons are present in the conductor due to the short circuiting of this kind of this path resistive path by zero resistance path the net resistance of material will be zero so below transition temperature it will act like a conductor so uh, for studying the transfer properties of electrons in superconductor we only need to consider the uh, super electrons since they are uh, short circuiting the Uh, normal electrons so for deriving lenden equation for obtaining lenden equation we we are uh, considering the transport of super electrons and when we write the equation of motion of super electrons under the effect of electric field e if i apply an electric field across the super uh, across the conductor the equation of motion of super electrons can be written as m dvs by dt is equal to ee electron is having minus e charge so we can write m dvs by dt equal to minus ee the current density is given by j equal to nve since the electron is having minus charge we can write j equal to minus nve for super electrons we are writing ns vs from that we can calculate vs is equal to minus j by ns e substituting this value in this equation this equation becomes minus m constants we can take outside so m by ns e into d by dt of j is equal to minus e from that we can write dj by dt dj by dt is equal to minus will get cancel then ns e square ns e square by m e i am taking this as equation number 1 so dj by dt equal to ns e square by m into e if we take steady state current if Uh, j is independent of time then if j equal to a constant then dj by dt is zero then we will be getting electric field e equal to zero if e equal to zero then potential difference v equal to zero that means in a superconductor we can have current density j constant current density without any potential drop across the material j equal to constant that means e equal to zero or potential drop across the conductor is zero from maxwell's equations del cross e equal to minus do b by do t if e equal to zero that means del cross e is zero so do b by do t is zero do b by do t is equal to zero means v equal to a constant that means inside the superconductor magnetic field v equal to a constant constant this is contrary to the experimentally observed fact in meissner effect we know that the magnetic field inside a superconductor is 
zero, but here it is equal to a constant, so this is not possible, it is contrary to Meissner effect. So we have to modify this equation and uh, F London and S London modified that equation. Now from Maxwell's equation, Maxwell's fourth equation, uh, Maxwell's fourth equation, del cross D equal to mu zero j. Actually, it is mu zero j plus dou d by dou t. The second term represents the displacement current density, and we are assuming that the displacement current is changing in a very slow rate. That uh, we are neglecting the contribution from displacement current density. We are taking del cross d equal to mu zero j by neglecting the displacement current density. So um, when we take the scale of this equation, now I am taking the scale of this equation, taking the scale of equation 1. When we take the scale of equation 1, left hand side, del cross dj by dt, this I am taking it as equation 2, del cross dj by dt is equal to ns e square by m is constant, then del cross e. Del cross C, we know that del cross C equal to minus dou b by dt, substituting that value and taking this term to left hand side. This, I am interchanging the uh, space, interchanging del and uh, d by dt, taking d by dt outside. We can write it as dou by dou t, it is differential with respect to time and this is with respect to space coordinate. I am interchanging this two, then dou by dou t, del cross j. Then taking this term to left hand side, it is minus ns e square by m, then del cross e, del cross e is minus dou b by dou t, so it will be plus, then dou by dou t is taken common, then it will be b. So this should be equal to 0, this is equation 3. So putting this equation, in, uh, in this one and taking all the terms to left hand side then taking dou by dou t common we can write it as dou by dou t of del cross j plus n c square by m b equal to 0. On integrating this we will be getting del cross j integrating with respect to t we will be getting n c square b by m is equal to either 0 or a constant. We can write this as del cross j plus ns e square by b, b, b by m equal to 0 or a constant. If we get steady state value for b and j, if we are having steady state value for b and j, if I get steady state value for j, then that means del cross b equal to b 0 j, so we will be having steady state value for b. But in, inside the superconductor b is 0. If b is not equal to 0, then it will contradict. Uh, it will be contrary to the Meissner effect. So, uh, the F London and H London assumed an equation. Uh, several solutions are possible for this equation for J and B and they, they have assumed for explaining the experimentally observed phenomena, they assumed that del cross J plus Ns E square by B, Ns E square by B by M equal to 0 as the solution of this equation. And using that assumption, they could explain all the experimentally absurd facts. So from that equation, we can write del cross j is equal to minus ns e square b by m. Del cross j equal to minus ns b square by this equation 3. And this one we are taking it as equation 4. Equation 4 is called... London equation and using that equation we can explain the Meissner effect and several electrodynamic properties of superconductors. So we got the equation as del cross j equal to minus ns e square by m. So this equation 4 and from Maxwell's equation we have written there del cross b equal to b 0 j. This, key, this equation can be represented in uh, on another form which can explain the Meissner effect, which can explain the experimentally observed uh,
facts. Uh, so I am uh, modifying this, uh, I am representing this equation in a different way. For that we are taking the curl of this equation. If I take the curl of the above equation, if I take curl of this one, then del cross del cross b is equal to mu zero into del cross j. Del cross del cross b is del of del dot b minus del del square b is equal to mu zero into del cross j is minus n s e square b by m. From actual second equation del dot b is zero, so this will be zero. So we will be getting minus del square b is equal to minus mu zero n s e square by m then e square by m into b negative minus sign will get cancelled so we can write this equation as del square b equal to mu zero n s e square by m into b or this is a constant term i am writing this as del square b equal to 1 by lambda square into this is another form of Lendl equation. It can also be written as del square b equal to del square b equal to 1 by lambda square uh, b. Or this equation is obtained by taking the curl of this equation, or we can take the curl of this equation and represent it in terms of j. If I represent it in terms of j, we can write it as del square j equal to 1 by lambda square into j. Equation number 6. Where lambda square, we have given the substitution lambda square equal to m by mu zero n s e square or lambda equal to m by mu zero n s e square the whole raised to 1 by 2 where lambda is called London penetration depth. Lambda is called London penetration depth. So, when we plot the variation based on this equation from this equation equation 5 when b equal to a constant b equal to a constant means del square b is equal to 0 if del square b is equal to 0 then b equal to 0 so constant value for magnetic field is uh, we can give constant value for magnetic field in this equation only when b equal to 0 that means inside the a material inside a superconductor according to this equation uh, b is constant only when it is equal to 0 the solution of this equation can be written as b equal to b0 e raised to minus x by lambda so this is the possible solution of this equation b equal to b0 e raised to minus x by lambda this shows that when we go inside the superconductor the magnetic field decreases exponentially with the distance. See if I take this as a superconductor and here the magnetic field intensity just outside the surface take this as B0 and when, when it is penetrating inside the material the B increase, it decreases exponentially with the distance and after some distance the B is negligibly small so inside well inside the superconductor the Magnetic field intensity will be zero. We can draw a graph representing the variation of magnetic field with the distance x when x equal to zero, b is equal to e raised to zero, b zero e raised to zero. So it will be b equal to b zero. This is b zero which is at the surface, and when x increases, the magnetic field decreases exponentially with the distance. Then when x equal to lambda, x equal to lambda, this term becomes e raised to minus one. So b equal to b0 e raised to minus 1 or we can write b0 by e that means a lambda is the distance lambda is London penetration depth London penetration depth is the distance at which the magnetic field reduces to 1 by e of its value at the surface. So we can take this x equal to lambda when magnetic field b becomes b0 by e. So this is about London equation. Okay, thank you.